Hey, what's up everyone? Just uh, cruising the 101, about to come up to the Conejo grade. I'm uh, empty right now, so it shouldn't be a problem for me to get up this grade. However, there is a scale at the top of it. They always tend to put scales right at the top of grades, so you're smoldering hot when you get up there. I don't know why they do that. It's like the worst time. Maybe that's why. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, well, yeah, I'm going to pick up a load. Um, a little bit about this truck. It's a 2016 Kenworth T680. And I'm uh, pulling a curtain side right now in a little bit of traffic. Um, I got a 48-foot curtain side. Um, this has a Packard MX-13 in it. Um, it is a 13 speed. So I do have to shift and all that stuff. Which is fine. I don't mind shifting. Um, it can get a little daunting in traffic, especially in these LA areas. A little rough on the knee using the clutch I'm getting old I guess but yeah this is uh, the Conejo grade on the 101 going southbound heading over to uh, pick up my load we're gonna be going to um, Havasu and Phoenix Arizona you know all in that area have uh some stops i'm gonna be making out there so i'll take you guys along for the ride right now we're getting ready to hit this grade and go through the scales and the scales always make me a little bit nervous so i figured let's put the camera on them make them a little bit nervous But I've just heard stories of, you know, brand new trucks and trailers drive five miles down the road and get pulled over and they can find an infraction. If they want to find an infraction, they will. It doesn't matter. You know, you can have a brand new truck, five miles on it. They'll get you if uh, they want to. <laughs> So, always find it uh, a little nerve-wracking going into these scales because you get red-lighted, you know, and anything can happen at that point. I've been uh, driving truck for about four years. And uh, me and my brother, we just got this truck and started our own thing. So I'm doing the driving and he's doing the uh, dispatching. So it tends to work out pretty good. I am OTR, which means, you know, I'll be gone from home. You know, I hear some people, you know, weeks or months at a time. I'm usually home every weekend. I try to get home. I want to be with my wife and kids. Oh, scales closed, do not enter. Woo -woo! I love that sign. <laughs> Float and go. This is the first time I've been through here and they had that closed. I'm loving that. Oh, man. Like I say, it's always a gut wrencher going through these things you know it doesn't matter how perfect your truck is or anything you know if they want to get you they will on anything and you know honestly um i'm still pretty new to this otr stuff so 
my clocks could be bad. My times. I don't know. Uh oh. All right, buddy. You're making it. But yeah, um, it could definitely get me for something that I'm not even aware of. You know, I try to keep it clean and do everything by the books. But you never know. I mean, there's so many laws and you know, weird things that it is what it is, I guess. I mean, that's trucking. You know, you just gotta deal with it. Hopefully you don't get fined or put out of service. Anyways, yeah, that was the grade. Got up and over it. No scales. Woo woo. Uh, just free float on to my uh, pickup where they're going to load me up. I'm going to get uh, fully loaded. Probably 47,000, 48,000, 46,000 pounds, somewhere in there. So it'll put me roughly around 80,000. Um, they're usually pretty good about how they load me. So hopefully it goes good. I get a good load. I get the float past all these scales. You know, I love the scales close sign. I'm sure any of you truckers out there watching this can agree. I mean, I don't have fast pass or whatever that stuff is. I don't have anything. I don't even have a trucker GPS. I just go off of my Google Maps. I mean, I got truck book. I mean, I've gotten lost off a of truck book so many times. That's just not worth it. You know, sometimes I'll... Uh, cross-reference it with Google Maps but for the most part I just run Google Maps and pay attention to the signs make sure I'm not getting off on a road I'm not supposed to be or going under a bridge or a tunnel I shouldn't this uh, truck and trailer combo is 13 foot 9 a lot of them are uh, 13 foot 7 that's the tractor um, and then you'll see some that are like, you know, with the trailer even, but kind of like this guy over here, his trailer's not even, it's a little bit above, a couple inches. So I got the one that's a couple inches above. Some of the trailers are uh, perfectly even with the cab, which, uh, you know, puts you at roughly 13.7 I think but I think I got a tape measure I measured it man I mean I was at a tunnel once that was 13 foot 7 and I pulled off and I didn't know what to do I was stuck on a two lane highway there was no way I could turn around and um, I got out and measured my truck I wanted to get an exact measurement how high I was at that moment. And I was 13.9. And I just sat there and waited. And I watched the trucks and the trailers that went through. And um, I noticed that Take one of them. 43B was in fact 13 foot 9 so I went for it and I made it now that was the most stressful situation I've ever been in I've never been in a under a bridge or in a tunnel that said you know it was smaller than what I am so it was really nerve-wracking I went through that thing maybe like 10 miles per hour I didn't want to hit no bumps and pop up and scrape it or anything it it was stressful 
Anyways, that's a little little trucking story for you. This was uh out in New Mexico somewhere. But yeah, anyways, um I'll turn you guys back on here in a bit. This is just kind of driving now. You know if anything exciting happens, I'll turn you on. You can see what happens. Um but otherwise, I'm gonna get to my spot, load up, and head out, and uh, catch up with you guys in a bit. 